Hey everybody, this is Chris with Killer Arcade Games, and today I'm talking about the Starcade 2.0 playlist by B Kong, or as you probably know him by, Kongs R Us on YouTube. So what is the Starcade 2.0 playlist? What it basically is, is a pre-set up, launch box, big box setup, where you essentially just put everything in its place, follow the instructions to set it up, given to you by B, with pictures by the way, detailed instructions, you can be up and running in probably two to three hours if you just go at it nonstop and you have all the stuff already ready to go. When I set this up, I was sick. Um, I'm embarrassed, by the way, B, if you're watching this, I asked you some really stupid questions. And <laughs> the funny thing was, I was just so out of it sick that I, I've actually gone back and looked in the emails that we had back and forth. I was like, oh, wow, that was stupid. So I apologize for that, B. But assuming you're not sick and you're pretty good at following instructions or, you know, at least somewhat familiar with a Windows PC, you'll probably get through this in about two hours, three hours. And the bulk of the time is probably going to be downloading, then extracting the files and getting them in their place. Speaking of that, you will need at least a 500 gig hard drive. It is really important to have at least 500 gigs, like B says, because you really do need that much space to work. And then beyond that, I would pretty much recommend having at least a decent graphics card. I ended up putting an NVIDIA 1030 GT, which is pretty much a low-end graphics card. It's only, I think, $80, $85 on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description. What I want to do now is show you guys a little bit more in depth of what this is. Uh, I'm going to hook this up to the capture card, and let's change views so you guys can see it up close and personal. While recording this earlier, I completely forgot to mention the pricing. You can get a basic pack, which is just basically going to give you the download. You're going to be responsible for installing it yourself. There's no extra support included. I think you could still pay him extra to get support, but that's the $35 launch edition pricing. On top of that, you also have a $100 premium option. This package gives you full support for setup, installation, mapping, and general questions for one hour maximum. So most of you guys know by now that I use uh, pretty basic launch box setups. I never do anything this fancy, and mainly because I, I don't really want to go through all this trouble. Like I said before, you don't have to go through this trouble with this playlist. He has it done for you. So this continues. It's basically showing you each 18 playlists that there are, and there's more graphics to it. I'm not going to let it run the whole thing, so this video is not too long. But we can skip it at any point. Let's look at the playlist really quick before I dive into actually showing you a few of the games that I like. Uh, first of all, it starts right off on Star Wars, which makes sense because this is a Star Wars cabinet. I'm assuming that's what it always starts on. Uh, we also have Tank Dual Stick, which is stuff that I would never really know how to play now that I think about it. I've never played any of these games. I was never any good at them. I think I tried Virtual On at an arcade once. And to be really honest, this is probably the least uh, played playlist I have on here so far, mainly because I don't know much about it. But you also have shmups, which is shoot 'em ups uh, the classic games like 1942. And what's really awesome about this playlist is there's such a mix of games from all different decades. There's new games, there's old arcade games, there's even console games. So let's keep moving through. We've also got your flying games. Like I said before, you've got some really older looking games with some high-end new games that are running on like Techno Parrot. We also have Star Fox playlist. I haven't dove into this much. B does make it clear that there are emulation issues with the Nintendo 64. Star Fox game, and I think that's just, there's nothing you can do about that. I, I believe I've read that before, it's not perfectly emulated yet. And then we can move down here and you have several different pinball options. These are really cool. The only problem I did have with these is I don't keep my cabinets connected to the internet, and I did notice that they seem to want me to be connected to play them. Currently I don't have any internet connection on this one, I don't have a Wi-Fi card in this, I always keep mine offline, but you may need to consider keeping yours online to make these work. I can't wait to dive into these more though because I love these old pinball machines like South Park. This is Pinball FX2, you got Pinball FX3 which has a bunch of different uh, tables in it, we've got Marvel Pinball. Uh, more Pinball FX3, but these are more like movie titles, it looks like. We've got uh, Walking Dead, Aliens vs. Pinball, Jurassic Park. And then you've got a Star Wars Pinball playlist, which is really cool, because a lot of you guys, like me, may not be able to fit the Star Wars Pinball machine in, but still want to play the games. Uh, these are actually Pinball FX, so I think they're different. More Pinball FX, these are Zen Studios. Then we get down to Classic Racing. These are some fun ones here. These are probably... 80s and 90s racer games. I don't think any of them are from before that or after that. You've got OutRun. So again, if you can't fit the OutRun cabinet in your house, this actually works really well as a steering wheel. So it's a good alternative. And then we have the Mario Kart and Friends playlist, which I really like. My wife loves the Mario Kart game on the iPhone. We all, we both love the 64 version. I've been playing some of that. Um, it has it all the way from the 
older Mario Kart games. I think it even has the, let's, let's look really quick before I talk without thinking. But uh, for, first of all, we have Mario Kart 8. That's running on the Wii U. That's a good one to emulate. You do really need a good graphics card for that. My graphics card, full disclosure, runs a little stuttery on that one. Uh, these are actually the arcade versions of Mario Kart. This is the arcade GP. We've got the arcade GP2. And then the newest one, the Mario Kart Arcade GP DX. The really cool thing about B's install here is when you, if you know anything about Techno Parrot and you've tried this game, you're gonna find it's fully in Japanese and you have no idea what's going on. He's done the hack to uh, make it show the English language stuff. So having it in English is way more helpful. Now I do believe most of the voices are still in Japanese when I tried it, but, and you're playing it at home and you get to play it for free, which is amazing. This also has the Mario Kart DS one. I actually have not tried this on here yet, but uh, if you're into that game, you've got it there. Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash, that's from the GameCube, Super Circuit, the Game Boy Advance. That's probably one of the oldest games on here, I'd imagine. Sonic and, uh, Sonic and Sega Racing All-Stars. I actually did never, I never saw this game in arcades. I really enjoy it. I've been playing this one a lot on his playlist. Super Mario Kart, which is on the Super Nintendo, which actually is probably the oldest game, technically. And Wacky Races. Uh, now that I think about it, I have not tried this one. I've been meaning to sit down and play it, and I just can't. There's so much on here that I get excited, and I don't, I don't always end up playing all the games. I end up going back to ones I'm really enjoying a lot. So that's just a quick example of uh, what's in these playlists. There's no way I can go through all of them. I will try to play some games for you before we wrap this video up. We've got a Modern Racing playlist, which is great. Most of these games are Techno Parrot games, and they're a lot of fun. The new Outrun game is on here. I've, I've never even played that, and I had so much fun playing it. The music is great, but borderline annoying at times. But anyway, uh, Ride and Roll playlist. You've got Crazy Taxi on here. This is a big one for most of you guys. Uh, I, you can't really see it, it's underneath there, the jet skiing game. You guys who are big fans of the channel may know I love jet skiing. I have jet skis, my wife was injured on a jet ski recently. Uh, we love jet skiing, so I was having a lot of fun playing that one. Oh, let's go down here. We've also got a ride and shoot playlist here. Lucky and Wild is one of the games that really stands out to me. Vapor TRX, that was one I would never really knew about in the arcades, but I had a lot of fun playing. Gun games. So. This is interesting. I've always thought about doing this with this cabinet before, but you can install light gun games and use the yoke as like how you aim and fire. So you've got Terminator 2, the arcade version. Uh, there's plenty of great games on here. Jurassic Park, Lethal Enforcers. Now if we go down here, you've got Modern Shooters, which is again, mainly Techno Parrot arcade games, but really cool stuff. This, these are the games you're gonna really need your graphics card for. So personally, I'd stick with uh, NVIDIA graphics, by the way. I've noticed Techno Parrot seems to work best with NVIDIA versus AMD graphics cards. Uh, Time Crisis is also on here. You do lose a little bit of the experience because you're not holding a gun, but still, I mean, it's, it's still a ton of fun. You can't really complain. Okay, guys, now that I've shown you guys all the playlists, let's play one of the games or a couple of the games that I enjoy the most from this. I don't want to make this video too long, but Here's H2 Overdrive. If you guys have seen my channel, you know I love Hydro Thunder, and I love this game. I've actually made two videos on this game already, but let's take a look at it really quick, how well it performs. Let's do Quake Canyon. I'm not going to play the full race. I just want to show you guys a quick snippet of what to expect here. This game is very beautiful, I think. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this one so far. I can't stop playing this one, and that's why I don't get to all the other games in the playlist for the most part. I never really got to enjoy this one in arcades when it came out because I truthfully had written off most newer arcades a while back and I kind of blew it off and now I can't ever find it when I do go to these newer arcades but uh, but I love this game it's really great to have it at home now and I can this this arcade cabinet's actually in my living room so when I'm bored watching TV or something or I can just walk over here and start playing one of the most awesome arcade games that's come out in recent history in my opinion. One of the other games I've been enjoying playing a lot is the Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. I've actually never played a Wii U. I have not had a, a new console outside of the Xbox One in a long time. I've been mainly just playing arcade games for the last couple of years. So it was really fun to get to check this one out and I'm kind of getting addicted to it. All that said, this is one of those games that doesn't run perfectly on this graphics card. So uh, keep that in mind if you're gonna buy the GT 1030. I'm normally heavily against putting console games on an arcade cabinet. I think I mainly think that way because the uh, control schemes aren't that perfect and I don't like setting all that stuff and joy to key and all those different softwares you have to set up, but luckily it's already been done so I can now just enjoy it and stop stressing about it. So yeah, this one, this is a good looking game and it does stutter a little bit, especially when a lot starts going on on the screen. Let's see, hopefully I can remember how to use all the buttons. There we go. I know there's a drift button, there it is. 
God, I can't even remember my own buttons. And I'm, I'm not that great at it yet, so please don't judge the game. But, you know, you can pop the drift, it gets your boost going, and I totally missed... How did I miss all those right there? I went right through them and didn't hit a single one. Uh, my wife has played a little bit of this, but she has not put as much time into it as I'd want her to. Alright, so here is kind of where I sometimes have some stuttering issues or it, it struggles to keep up. But it actually did really well there, so maybe it just depends on how many people are around me in that case. Alright, see if I can get this drift. Oh yeah. Boom! Don't hit the banana. Don't hit the banana. Get the coin, though. Alright. So it's really cool I can play this at home now. I still missed it again, but that's fine. I'm going to show you guys another game I enjoy, and uh, we'll switch to that right now. Here's one that I never really got to play much outside of the arcades, and truthfully, I forgot about this. I used to play this way back when it came out. Outrunners. It was the sequel to Outrun. I really enjoyed it. I love how the guy has to run between cars. Kind of big, buff, chubby-looking dude, almost. Uh, I don't want that little car. All right. Let's go with automatic. I hate shifting. Uh, another thing to note is you may be seeing it on your screen, actually. Uh, B has gone through the trouble to make scanline effects, too, so... If you love scan lines in your old arcade games, this is going to have them. I used to play the original Outrun at the movie theater, and I was pretty young at that time. Now I think about it, I was probably like eight. And when you'd crash and the wheel would jerk side to side, it would actually kind of like hurt my hands sometimes if I was hanging on too tight. Probably because I was pretty short and I was hanging up on the wheel rather than, you know, uh, holding it like a normal human being. So it just probably jerked me all around. Uh, I wish, I don't know if I'm going to have time to show it in this video, but the new OutRun game is one of my favorites, the one that runs on Techno Parrot. The uh, graphics are beautiful, of course, because it's a it's a, basically a new PC game. And the uh, music is kind of hilariously good and bad all at once. Like, at first I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then after the song just kept going and going, even my wife was sitting behind me and was like, that's getting kind of annoying. So... Either way, it, it's so fun, though. I, I'm so glad we have it at the house now, and I can enjoy it. Speaking of scan lines, I do want to show you uh, some of the effects he did on the Star Wars classic arcade games that came with this cabinet originally. All right, let's go to one of my wife's favorite games still from this original cabinet. We had never really played any of these, but Empire Strikes Back, that's where we battle the most on this cabinet. Let's load it up really quick, and you can see the really cool... Uh, scan line, it's not really a scan line effects, but the graphic effects that they've done to MAME. So as you can see, they've, they've kind of softened a lot of the uh, vector look and it makes it look more like a real cabinet. It's even got kind of a curved look to it, so it looks like you're playing it on one of those old vector monitors or a CRT monitor. Uh, if you, you guys will know if you've just installed this on MAME on your own before. It's really dim and really ugly, and if you don't play with the settings, it's going to look like crap. So it's very nice he's gone through the trouble to do that for you already. All right, so since I don't have time to show you every game in here, I just want to just kind of scroll through some of these lists as I wrap this video up. Uh, I, I need to sit down and actually just play these games. It's hard to have enough time to go through all of them, but there's a lot of different games on here spanning a huge time frame. So if you're an older gamer, if you're a younger gamer, say you're a dad, you want to have this in the house and you don't want to go through the trouble, so you buy his playlist, you're going to find something on here that your kids will enjoy, and I'll, I'd be willing to bet... Even your wife's going to find a game or two on here she would like playing. So keep that in mind when looking at this. Um, it's a great option for new modders that want to do this and don't want to deal with it. And also, B even offers a service where you can send him your control deck, your stock deck. He'll just go ahead and mod everything for you, and I believe you can even buy the PC from him pre-set up. I hope I'm not making that up, but uh, you can just do that option too if you don't want to go through the trouble of modding this. This is why I say watch B in the future. He's definitely doing some cool stuff on YouTube and on the Facebook groups. So be sure to subscribe to him if you haven't already. Again, if you guys want to know more about this, please check the description. Please check out the link to his private Facebook group. And he can give you guys all the information you need before buying this. Uh, that's all I have to show you for now, guys. It would take hours upon hours to show you every game, so I can't do that. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me about this, please leave it in the comments. If I can't answer your question, I'll definitely tell you, go ask B on his Facebook group. So if I have to give it any kind of final thoughts on this video, I'm going to say it's a great option for a new modder. You're a new modder, you don't know how to do it, this is a great option. Now it's also a great option if you're a seasoned modder who doesn't want to go through the trouble. If you don't want to deal with setting all this stuff up, which is time consuming if you've done it already, you know that, just buy this. It's $35, you probably won't need B's help if you know what you're doing. 
And even if you are new and you need help, it's $100 for the whole thing. I think overall this is a great option for pretty much everybody, so I think it's going to be very successful for B. So if you ask me, this thing gets the killer arcade game stamp of approval. You guys ask me all the time if I'll mod stuff for you, if I'll send you guys files or send you guys launch box setups pre-done. I don't really do any of that stuff currently, so this is pretty much your only option that I know of unless you want to go with a Raspberry Pi, and in that case you're not going to have not even half of these games probably. So go check out B's stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more arcade content. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on...